Okay, blessings everyone. This is Yanni, the only luckologist. So this sister has <laughs> some of the fattest, fatty, fat, fat, fats. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> the fatty fats. <laughs> the fattest locks I've ever seen. They are like banana locks, mm -hmm. and I love it. It's it. Listen, this is normal for me. When I see clients like this, it reminds me of growing up when I was a child growing up in Trinidad. This is how the Rastas had their locks. All right, they just you saw all type of locks. I've seen locks even fatter than this. Right? My father, before he, he cut his own, he's what we call a bongo. It's like, that's what they call back home, bongo dread, naki dread. This is some fat locks. So first I want to tell everybody, I was actually just talking to her and the gentleman who flew in from Chicago, who, who just left. Hey Joshua, yeah, we talked to, we're talking about you. <laughs> he's the opposite of her. I just finished his locks. He had locks so fine, I had to join them because they were you know, you had a head of healthy hair that were popping in the roots. She's she's like on the other side of the spectrum with very thick locks. But anyway, and I was telling them, and this video is just me rambling to inspire anybody. You guys know I inspire a person about the healthier locks. Both their hair is healthy. I see a lot of people leave comments like, damn, I wish my hair was like that. Learn to love your own hair, right? This world would be a very boring world if we all look the same. We're all the same size. We're all the same color same hair texture the same type of locks the beauty of our black people is that well people period but i'm talking about our black people is that we come in an array of beauty right it's like a fruit basket and you don't know which fruit to pick so love that and when it comes to our locks it's the same thing the locks is like a fingerprint one of the things i see a lot of people ask me about is yanni why does my locks grow flat i have a flat lock in my head which i can't show because i can't do a video on my own head it's kind of difficult it's rare I see somebody with flat locks, and this is the reason why I did this video on her. She has flat locks. So if your locks grow flat, here's my answer to that. So frigging what? All right? Again, it's a fingerprint. You, you guys overthink this. And I'm so... Did you know your locks grew flat? I... I you felt it? Yeah. You had an idea, right? <laughs> she has flat locks, and then she has wrong ones. And I love the fact she just left it alone. She let it go. She let it do... You guys want to have, for the people now starting locks or the locks like one to five years old, you really, and i said this many times, the secret is enjoy your lock journey. Some of you are so obsessed with it and she came in obsessed. I heard Jimmy nipping it in the bud while he was giving her like, lady, stop, little girl, because she's very young. Like just, you don't say little girl, I'm saying that, but just stop. You, your hair is like perfect. He was showing her how clean the water is. You know, yes. So what if the locks are flat? This, you don't know what your locks are going to look like when you start it, right? Mm -hmm. If somebody tells you, like, this is what it's going to look like, I know there's YouTube, there's Instagram, TikTok, there's so many social media platforms that you, even if you point out and you tell your loctician or hair professional, Yanni, not Yanni, the person who's doing it here, this is how I want my locks, and they say they can make it like that, it's a lie. Now, they could mimic a style, right? That's easy. That's like she and I wearing the same type of clothes. But you cannot mimic somebody else's locks, mm -hmm. right? I have had twins. We actually have twins. One cut their hair. They come from Arizona. And the two of them, first they had, they were fraternal, but that's not the point. They both had two different textures and both their locks look completely different. Okay? So, your locks is flat. So what? Your locks are wrong. So what? Your locks has the little bumpy things on it. I've had some people call me like, my locks have little bumpy things. I say, I call them lumpers. And the first thing I ask, is your hair soft? And they're like, yeah, how you know? I say, because it usually happens with people with very soft, curly texture here. And I always say, do you have all your hair and your head like this? Yes. Then stop fussing over how your locks look. Enjoy the journey. It's imperfection. What you think is imperfect is what makes it perfect. Our imperfections, that little beauty mark on your face, that little dimple, a dimple is an imperfection, is a, is a, is a, is a dent in your muscle in your cheek, that's how we have it, uh, that's how people have dimples, it's actually an imperfection, and we get attracted to, to people because, oh my God, he got dimples or she got dimples, that shows us how beautiful we are as people, a lot of people don't know how a dimple is formed, it's an imperfection under your skin. So, both right, we were talking about that. A client came the other day, and when she got up, she's bow legged. And I said, Girl, in Trinidad, men will be running you down. That was some sexy shit. A bow legged woman, <laughs> no, seriously, you're young, you don't know about that. But bow legged women was the shit <laughs> back in my day. 
As you guys, this is a rambling video. Love your hair. I see, I don't have time to reply to everybody's uh, messages. So when I see something, it will inspire me like, wait a second, somebody asked that question. That's love your hair. That's love it, love it. She, her hair locks are like just big and fatty fat fats and I love it. You know, she loves it when she leave today. By the time this grows long, how much locks you have? Um, 12. 12. 12 locks in her head. When Jimmy came through the door, he's like, listen, she don't need your help. She just came here for attention. <laughs> she just wanted to sit in our chair and say she was by yard, right? That is true, though. I know that. You don't need us. Like, y'all keep coming with your healthy head. I can, like, y'all need help. and lying on the damn phone when you know you don't need us. <laughs> All right. Love the locks you have. Stop watching other people's locks. Luck love envy. Yourself. Love yourself. Luck envy will turn or grow into unhealthy locks because you're doing everything to make your locks like that. If you want to be part of this whatever community, some people act like it's a fucking cult and I just think that way, like it's not a cult, it's just freaking locks, mm -hmm. right? Just love your hair. And for the loose natural people, I, I'm starting to talk about y'all, I don't do loose natural hair, love your loose natural journey too. And if you're bald head, love your bald hair too. And if you got that one strand because you lost your hair due to chemo or whatever and you only have four strands left, love them four little strands poking out, mm -hmm. right? And you got dimples, love that. You got big lips, love that. Like me who don't have a nose bridge and all I have is the puggy parts on my nose, I love it. Love who you are. Love your eyebrows. Love your, you know what, Jimmy? When you were that <laughs> eyebrow shit, I will snatch your eyebrows up. I was enjoying this video until you come up with the eyebrow scrap. All right, if you don't have eyebrows like me, don't love that because Jimmy got all... <laughs> Of my clothes, so love your eyebrows, and you know I don't got no damn eyebrows. Like, why would you do that? Like, why would you poke? Why would you say that? Love your eyebrows, and you look at me giving me the wink, witty, perfectly arched eyebrows. If you guys met Jimmy, he has like the most. I'll post a, I'll post a picture at the end of this video so you all can see how perfect Jimmy's eyebrows are, right? And all you ladies will be like, "There's some bullshit." <laughs> now I see why Yanni's so angry. All right, so anyway, we're blessing crowns and jewels. We're having a lot of fun meeting some amazing clients. All right, um, if you want to book still, leave your name, telephone number, speak slowly. Don't make it weird. Just say you want to book an appointment. That's it. And I'll take it from there when I call you back, okay? You miss us on this trip, we're here every three months. God willing, okay? You guys be blessed and um, stay tuned for more videos. Love you guys.